I'm glad to have you here, Dan. Amen. I've uh, met Dan for the last uh, six months. We've, uh, he's been a student at the center we have where we train people to work for Jesus. And maybe some of you know Dan uh, because he has visited you in your house. Well, um, Dan has a beautiful story to tell, and we are going to go straight into it. Dan, um, tell me, uh, did you grow up in a Christian home? Yeah, I was, I was brought up an Adventist since I was born. Okay, and what was your childhood and uh, early life like? Well, I was fairly rebellious as a child. Um, <laughs> there was actually one time when um, they put me up in the front of church when I was about three, and um, I started swearing up the front of the church. <laughs> so um, I didn't really like it, and um, I didn't really listen to what my parents wanted me to do while I was a kid. Okay, and, and so what happened when you turned, uh, you know, early teenage years? Well, and well when I was like a teenager, I, um, I'd been exposed to God's love, and um, I knew that there was something more, you know, but I didn't, um, r rather than surrendering everything to God, I decided to, to go try and do my own thing, you know, like go, go pursue some of my own desires. And um, I started um, just, yeah, just, I, I got into sin, but then once, once I got into it, it took a hold of me. And um, I, I ended up in incredible darkness after um, many mm. um, years. Do you want me to tell about some yeah, of those sure. things? Yeah. Well, it started off when I was about, because um, I used to get picked on when I was a kid at school. And so um, I decided I never wanted it to happen ever again. And so um, I saw some martial arts movies and um, I started training when I was about, I don't know, when I was young, but I didn't really start classes like um, training martial arts classes until I was about 14. And then um, I realised that um, I didn't have to. I didn't have to take it anymore if I didn't want to. And so um, I, um, yeah, I just, sorry. That's what Satan does to us. He hurts us to try and drive us away from God. But although I ended up in an incredible dark place, once I'd been exposed to God's love, no amount of darkness could cover that up. Amen. It started off. <laughs> That's good to have ladies in the church that carry a tissue. <laughs> no, you can hold it. Because, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, it just started off like that. Like, I just, I wanted to protect myself. But, um, it was all for self, you know, and we just have to, um, we have to let God and Jesus look after us. And um, I got into the training when I was about 14 and started pursuing power just originally to just try and protect myself from being hurt from Satan. But once you realize you can have power over other people, it doesn't want to, you don't want to stop there. You know, it's just, just like, we're never satisfied. And that's one of the biggest things that God has taught me is that we have, to, we have to learn to be grateful with what he gives us. So then we can, he can trust us with more. Mm. Because I started off training and I, I got into a few other things here in, in the way, but at the end of it, all I dedicated my time to was just pursuing power. That was it, just for myself. And I'd, I'd spend all of my time just training. And at first I thought it was harmless what I got into, but it was, um, it was satanic. And we used to do satanic rituals to get power. And I didn't realise, because I was so young, I was like 
15, 15, 16. And um, I had no idea till years later. And um, it ended up, it, it, it got to the height I was actually overseas because I'd been training for so long that I had to go leave the country and, and to train with like this really famous, you know, grandmaster who's like, you know, the best, probably the most famous one of these masters in the world. And um, I was over there training. And it was then that I realised that what I was into was totally satanic. They were doing satanic rituals to um, get powers. And I was just like, oh. The thing was, though, I finally, I finally felt like, um, like I was fulfilled. But um, the, the Holy Spirit just um, said to me, you can't have this, you can't have this. Because I, I believed in God because he'd answered so many of my prayers. Mm. He'd um, protected me from demonic attacks and all types of, of, um, of crazy things because of my ignorance. He'd, he'd protected me. And um, it, it just kept saying, you can't have this, you can't have this. And I said, okay, right, God, you know, this is the last thing. I said, like, I've given up, you know, ev it's, it's, it's everything I want because I'd pursued so many other things in my life. I'd, I'd pursued, um, you know jobs and money and, and this, that and the other and I'd just been at university and, and, and was doing psychology and, and like it, it didn't do anything for me. I went to pursue this, this false form of spirituality because that's what we crave. We, um, we, we've got like, we, we crave spirituality. We've got a, a, a God-shaped void in our lives and the thing was, although Satan's got a counterfeit, he can't counterfeit God's love. Mm. He could not counterfeit God's love. And, and, and the Holy Spirit um, said, you can't have this. So I went away and I just said, okay, right, God. Um, you know, you know oh, if, if you want to have this, take it away. And it was just like that, bang. Like, like these, these new powers that I just got and went. And, and I just thought, oh, I'll just give my heart totally to God. And um, I did. What happened when the, the powers were taken? You became very weak immediately. No, not, not straight away. God had mercy on me with that. Things actually went really well. And, um, well, so, to a degree, like, I, ha I had a peace and everything. And things were just going so well. I thought, this is too easy. What do I do now? You know? And um, rather than, um, you know, because I, I, I didn't know how to love. I, I didn't know how to, how to, how to love or, or serve other people because I'd just been all all my life because I'd been hurt. I'd, I'd just been pursuing this power because I thought that's what I needed to protect myself. And um, I didn't know. And um, so I just ended up getting back into it again. And um, then that's when, when God had to lift some of his protection on me, off, off me and let me get really started hammered. And that's when I started getting really, really, really sick. And I, um, I was getting so sick I was dying. And... Um, I um, went to so many different doctors, 13 um, different doctors, three of them specialists. And that has been in the last 12 months? Um, that was um, in 2000, 2007, yeah. Okay, yes. And it was, it was before that. Um, it was before, Ju oh, let me think, July mm -hmm. last year. And, and so you asked the Lord to take your powers again? and, uh, and he well, well, the thing was, I... Um, I asked him to take it away because I thought I'm not going to get into any more of these spiritual rituals. But Satan came along with another counterfeit, like off, offered it in a different form and I didn't think it was evil, just like the first time. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't realise what I was doing was evil. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had these, you know, scientific, these devices which were supposed to be scientific and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, which were supposed to give me energy and this and that. And, and they did. And the thing was that the, the Holy Spirit was saying to me again, like, you've got to get rid of these things, you've got to get rid of these things. And I was like, Lord, but, 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 because, because I didn't think God's grace was sufficient for me. I thought, but, but what will I do then? What will I do then? Because I didn't know how to love people. I didn't know. And, um, once, once, uh, you surrendered all these things to God, what happened? It was just like a veil just fell off my eyes, just like that. And I was like, what have I been doing? What have, been, what have I been doing? And then that's when um, God, I don't know, I just, I, I started doing every single thing that God was showing, that had shown me, was, was telling me to do.